Hey guys, Courage Room 55 here. It's been a while since you've heard that, hasn't it? Like seriously, the last time I said that intro was back in Project Askos. But anyway, today I'm here to introduce you to a brand new Pokemon project that I've been working on for a while now in the background, whilst working on other projects such as Crystal Desires or the show The Stars Coming Dub. Quarantine has been both a blessing and a curse towards me, so I'd like to begin the very first preview into my new Pokemon project named Project Frivo. Once again, as a reminder, this series and Askos were inspired by Mr. Buddy's What If Pokemon regions, where he details the stories that would take place in a certain country in the world if it was translated into the format of a Pokemon game. So for my second delve into this format, I'd like to do the same thing with New Zealand. Now some of you may be wondering, what the hell is Project Askos? Well, in summary, Project Askos was the previous Pokemon project I did on my channel, based around Romania and its culture. I'd recommend that you watch that series either before or after Frivo, as this project serves as a prequel to that story. So if anything I say here confuses you, please go and check out Project Askos. Your query will probably be answered there, and if not, drop me a comment! Alright, now that that's all over with, I can finally move on to the video, but before that, I need to give a few disclaimers. Number 1. This video isn't theorizing on upcoming Pokemon games like the eventual Diamond and Pearl remakes or Generation 9. I think I've hinted enough already that I want Gen 4 remakes, Game Freak. Any news is better than no news. I mean, it's not like I could even play them since I don't have a Switch yet. <laughs> anyway, if there is a future game that's based off New Zealand, or if Mr. Buddy himself makes a region based around it, just know that it's definitely a coincidence, but I might cry if it becomes a thing. Number 2. On the topic of the Buddyverse, I need to clear some things up. The Ascos and Frivo regions, as well as any other regions I might make in the future, are not part of the Buddyverse and exist inside of their own world separate from it, which we'll call the Ascosverse for now. The only way in which these worlds collide is inside of the RP server, which in the context of the Ascosverse counts as a crossover AU. Said RP has questionable canonical meaning to this story. Number 3. Again, I am very bad at pronouncing words. And Maori and Hawaiian are even worse than Romanian. Like, go why? That's probably inaccurate. Point being, I'm using Google Translate for this, so I'm going to end up pronouncing something wrong during this video. Please forgive me. Number 4. Please support all of the great voice actors which are helping me out with this project. Once they appear during the story and character section, their names and links to their social media will be in the description for you to check out, as well as their names being displayed in the credits. Yeah, the VAs which I've definitely hired as of this video. Have you gotten that yet, future me? Future me? You got the VAs, right, future me? I think that about covers it for the intro. We've got a lot to talk about here, such as a corporation which wants to better the lives of everyone, to a mythical Pokemon that discovered this region in the first place. So it's finally time to delve into my new Pokemon project on the channel, Project Frivo. Hey guys, Geography Teacher CD55 here! Wow, it's been a while since I've made that joke. How about instead of attending your online geography class, you join this instead, and have way more fun while doing so? I'd like to believe I try my best to make this section interesting, so here goes nothing! New Zealand is an island country in the Pacific Ocean. Wait, Pacific? It's the Pacific, you think? New Zealand is an island country in the Pacific Ocean, and is made up of two land masses, the North Island and the South Island, alongside around 600 smaller islands surrounding them. One island of questionable worth is called Disappointment Island. And yes, that's actually a thing. Imagine traveling the islands on a ship and finding this random rock, and being so disappointed that you call it Disappointment Island. Don't worry, Disappointment Island, you'll always be important in my eyes. This derailed very quickly. Anyway, New Zealand is friends with Big Boy Australia across the sea, and it was the last habitable land to be settled by humans. That's a fun fact. New Zealand has a diverse amount of animal, fungal, and plant life due to how it's been devoid of human life for such a long time, and it's full of many mountains and volcanoes. New Zealand is part of Australasia and forms the southwestern extremity of the Polynesia region. Oh yeah, I'm using Wikipedia as my source again. I still don't understand what's so wrong with it. This website is free, people. Free things are good things, right? Anyway, the South Island is the largest of the two main islands and contains around 18 peaks which are taller than 3,000 meters. It's divided along its length by the Southern Alps, and the highest of these mountains is Mount Cook at 3,724 meters. The North Island is less mountainous but is marked by many volcanoes amongst the highly active Torpo Volcanic Zone, which contains one of the world's most active supervolcanoes. You know, while I started with researching, I found out that the active supervolcano last erupted, oh, I don't know, one million years ago? 
That's not exactly active, is it now? New Zealand's climate ranges from an average 10 degrees Celsius in the south to 16 degrees Celsius in the north. Historically, the highest and lowest temperatures that New Zealand has had is tops 42 degrees to the lowest minus 25 degrees. Wow, this climate is pretty normal in comparison to England's. It's not like Romania's summers where I would literally melt if I went there. New Zealand sounds a lot nicer. Before humans arrived in the country, about 80% of the land was purely forests, with only the high alpine, wet, infertile and volcanic areas not having any trees. But nowadays, due to logging or clearing, that number has gone down to 23%. Kind of sad. But the good news is that conservationists are creating efforts to help threatened wildlife recover, creating lots of nature reserves and sanctuaries. Yay! This has probably given you a good overview of the geography and environments of the region by now. So let's move on to what pre-existing Pokemon could live in each of these environments. It's worth noting again that not all of these Pokemon parallel the wildlife of Frivo's basis, as I tried to add whatever I thought would fit. Oh, and as an extra point, some familiar faces might show up in this section, as some of the Fikimon I created for the Ascos region are also going to exist here. First up, the forest could harbour Pokemon such as the Sunkern line, the Moralol line, the Ekans line, the Dupida and Joltik lines, the Krogunk line, Heracross, Pinsir and Cypher, the Cutify and Ninkada lines, the Venipede and Spupa lines, the Gossifleur line, the Bellsprout line, the Execute and Pineco lines, Carnivine, the Slackoff line, Komala, the Flybaby line, and the Igniral, Terraseed and Treebat lines. Next up in the mountain areas, there would be the Natu and Chingling lines, the Dealing and Axu lines, the Mudbray and Swinub lines, the Teddy Ursa line, the Woobat and Smoochum lines, the Helioptile line, the Ryolu line, the Dwemel line, and the Pressy Snake line. In the plains areas, you would find the Mareep line, the Siskit line, the Gumi line, the Shellos and Wingle lines, the Puchiana line, the Swinub line, the Baneri and Purloin lines, and the Kamaus and Estrebi lines. Next up, in the volcanic areas, there would be the Sandile and Salandit lines, Torkoal, the Daramaka and Skorupi lines, the Blitzel line, Solrock and Lunatone, the Nummel line, the Slugma line, and the Shuppet and Duskull lines. Finally, in the water areas, there would be the Chutal and Timple lines, the Clauncher line, the Krabby and Corfish lines, the Barbooch and Whalemer lines, Wishy Washy, the Clobopus and Shelda lines, the Whooper line, the Kavana line, the Finneon line, and the Orca Blubbler and Finbone lines. Alright! That was an overview of the pre-existing Pokemon and Fakemon that would exist inside of the Friva region. Obviously, I couldn't list all of the Pokemon that would fit in these environments, because my throat gets dry real easily, but I think these select few give a brief enough idea. Well, that's all for episode 1 of Project Frivo. I'll see you guys next time, where we'll be going through the towns and locations that could exist inside of the region. I'll see you then!